Okay, so it's now the next day. Um, I just want to say I put this thing by my TV so I could stare at it all last night. I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning, pulled out my flashlight and looked at it with my flashlight. Just laying in bed, staring at it with my flashlight. Yeah, like a freaking weirdo. So, we are always our own worst critics. I'm going to post a, I'm going to put a picture right here if I can figure out the editing of without the pen mark. But I think this part in here for the tail is just too thick and the top fin, it's just driving me, driving me nuts. It really is. And I can't help it. I don't know if it's because my brain injury or just the artist thing in me, but it's always good to reach out to people. I reached out to my buddy Larry this morning. I told him it's driving me nuts. He said, maybe take out an eighth of an inch in here to def refine the tail from here. I, I don't freaking know. I'm just going crazy. Uh, so let's see how this goes. And I might just, um, we're our own worst critics. Never be afraid to reach out to somebody that's, that will give you an honest opinion because you need opinions, right? Like if the, like I want this to look like a freaking koi fish. Anyways, I better stop talking. I'm going to clean up this and then I'll be back. Like I told you in the other video, it's really hard for me to film when I'm working on this because it's so dusty. Like, look, it's just a freaking mess. Okay. And I got to wear my mask. So I'll be back. Okay. So it's now the next day and I'm done all the blocking out. So now you guys can see how rough it is. I got all these diamond burrs. These are sets you can get on Amazon or eBay, or whatever. This uh, grit here, I got this little football. I'm going to run along and uh, just, um, well, I guess sand it out. Lots of sanding to do on this. Lots of sanding. And I still got to do some more cuts in the flowers. The flower is good enough for me, but I got like cuts like this to get rid of. And put some details on the scales and the sorry the flappers the fin things okay so i'm not going to give this guy scales he's just gonna i might anyways i don't know okay another thing too before i get going here i got this uh master carver micro motor thing this is uh 200 dollars american around that price you can find it on ebay or amazon possibly so this thing runs at um 46,000 RPMs, they say. So I got it hooked up to a foot pedal. So it's a lot, it's a lot, um, it's easier to use this for something for sanding for me. I don't really use this too much for carving, but don't get me wrong. Ben at Studio and Lake has a better brand of this. He uses for carving and just carve raw, uh, uses this too, because, well, they're not as heavy hands as me and they, they're good carvers too. So let's just see here. Okay, so we just got to sand it out. Shoot the camera, man. Okay. So I've pretty well taken this down to a thousand grit. <sighs> I'm not done with this. I am not done with this. That's for sure. Lots of sanding. Lots of sanding. These are just parts of the stone in there. Well, that could be sanded out. But anyways, let's give it a water test here. Now look how those colors really pop. See, that's what it looked like before. But a, it's sure a solid uh, piece of uh, stone. So. I like these different colors in there. That's like the surface. See, I give it some texture lines in here. I gave it fin some texture lines. I'm not going to give this guy scales because it's really not about details. You can see what it is. But it will make you look, right? It will make you look to see what's there. Like, you might not even see the koi fish at first. But eventually it will pop out. I'm going to uh, just spray this with uh, a clear coat. I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to polish this or nothing. That's just too much work. I'm not trying to make a freaking gallery piece. 
I'm just trying to make a nice piece. I'm done with this for today. I want to carve this piece. It's a piece of driftwood. And I think I want to do a bunch of faces on it. So what do you guys think? Anyways, I hope you're all good. And, uh, yeah, okay. Bye. Okay. So it's now the next day. I got all the sanding done to as good as I want. You can see here it's not perfectly sanded. Okay. But on the... I tried to sand, the, like this looks like it's not sanded, but it is sanded. Believe me, I took it down to I think 600 grit. Like you'll see in there, that's not sanded, but this is just a stone itself, just like right in here, right? And then these flowers. So there's lots of different ways you can do this. You can put it in the oven. You can put uh, beeswax on it to finish it. But this is, I think this is just the easiest way. This is satin color. So I don't, satin's not uh, shiny and it's not dull, right? It just kind of gives a gloss, a little bit of a gloss. But this stuff, I think, uh, works the best. I really do. So let's see how this color pops, guys. There you go. Look at that color pop. Now I gotta get out of this room because it stinks. Well, would you look at that? It's a fly pig and friggity rickets. It's done. It's a long way to the top if you wanna rock and roll, yeah. So uh, just carve Rob, I think you need to start singing more in your videos, bud. And any of, uh, anybody that's subscribed to his channel, we need to get uh, him to start singing more on his videos. Yeah, him and his brother like to sing. So you guys can see here, like, see the white in here? And it goes in here, too. What a white, white. It's just a, such a beautiful. I'll admit his fins are a little bit small, but that's okay. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Yeah. There it is, guys. It's all finished. Man, tons of work sanding on this sucker. Tons of work. But there you go. It's all done. I think it flows pretty nice. You know, you can see the, the white of this rock here. Like orange, you see white in the head here. It's just orange and white, right? Just super beautiful rock. This is all natural, right? The same as this. It's, it, this was more of the face of the rock, right? Flower turned out okay. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna make this into an incense burner and then and make it so the pool of the Smoke sits in here. I was gonna carve it thinner like deeper in there But then I thought this maybe this piece could break off. So I thought just leave it like uh, like The way it is. So what do you guys think? Oh, hold on one more second. There's one more thing to do to this It's not done yet. Hold on a second Jeez, what are you thinking Jordy? Here you go. This is what I'm talking about Huh? Got a nice, oh, I did paint this tray. You got a nice U wood base here. Yep. Pacific U wood. I hope, I wish this part would come out um, a lot uh, whiter, but that's okay. Lots of sanding on this too. I took it down to 240 grit, but look at that U wood grain in there. Cool little crack. Okay, guys, you guys know I'm not done. Got one more little. Uh, I just I scraped it. Not a scrape. Well, oh, it's a reflection. Got one more thing to do here. Ah, oh, I didn't sound it good enough there when I'm looking on the screen. That's okay. We got one more thing to do here. Let's do the final upgrade here. Carbon fusion. Here we go. Okay, let's get this done here. Carbon fusion. Final upgrades. Long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. You know. I'd just like to take a second here and thank everybody for all the support on this uh, channel. World of Woodcarvers is a Facebook thing. And I make the videos showing everybody's um, pictures of the carvings. I work my ass off at this. You know, not because I feel pressured that I have to. I work my ass off because, well, I just love doing it. I found a passion. You know, guys, just start. You just got to start. Don't second guess yourself. And just 
take a start at it. You know, I put the light behind it to make, make it look illumin. What's the word? Illuminate? Illuminescence? Illuminescent? So you can see through it. Hey, I'm super happy. This is, pro this is probably my best carving I've done yet. For sure. Got the nice wood base here. My favorite wood, you wood. You gotta think of something like this. Is it just an art statue or is it a functional piece? If I would have put lights in it, it would have been like a light, a functional piece. I did put lights in it. These are uh, puck lights I got off Amazon. Hey, how cool is that? You might not like it. I like it. It's got different uh, light strengths on it. That's Max. Look how the koi fish separates from the piece. Hey. I did this because I wanted to do this. I've had this piece of rock I got from my buddy Stu for about a year. And I've just had it in my front yard, eyeing it out, wondering what I'm going to do with it. Well, I did something with it. I'll show you guys these lights after here. So I got a remote control here. So let's see different uh, things I could do with this. That's just the remote, that's just a setting. Whoa. Just the same setting. Let's try a different one. Okay, what's going on with this one? This one's just normal. Get out of here, you stupid lampshade. You guys, I'm definitely no Bobby Duke with the big finishes, but it's okay. I'm Jordy. Carving Fusion. Okay, let's try another setting. Okay, well that's probably tripping you out. It's a little bit bright. Let's just turn it. Let's just turn the settings down here. Turn it down. There you go, guys. Once again, thank you for all the support. I, I really appreciate it. I'm going to turn the light back on here and we'll take a look at the lights in the back that I did. Okay, guys, so here's the remote. It'll give you different modes, different speeds for the modes on off. I think these lights were 30 bucks from Amazon. They're puck lights, LEDs. So that's uh, maximum brightness. And let's turn it down a bit here. See, we just got a Plus negative. There you go. This is a nice dim light for somebody's bedroom. There you go. Thanks for all the support, guys. I really appreciate it. And I do support you more than you support me. Um, I'll show you the back of this. It's not so pretty. So there's a puck light there. They're only that thick. And what they're like two two and a half inches wide one here one here and then one underneath i had to carve holes all the way up in here to try and make the light illuminate so there's holes in there and i just hot glued it in because well it's the back piece this, whoever buys this or gets it is going to have to put it against the wall right it's not a freaking sculpture well it's a sculpture light beautiful you would yeah i scratched it putting the piece on there it's okay, I can clean it up after if I want. So that's it everybody. Once again, I know I repeat myself, but um, I forget what I say. Uh, blame it on, um, I don't know, I don't know. You know what you're gonna blame it on? I don't know. Anyways, hope you all good. And um, yeah, this is my best carving yet. I think so anyways, I don't know, do you know? George knows, I think George would tell me it's probably my best yet.
Thanks for watching everybody. It was a real fun piece to do. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And um, yeah, thank you again.